Welcome back to Tiny Predators. If you're passionate about learning the fascinating, and sometimes terrifying, world of infectious diseases, you've come to the right place. Today, we're diving into a parasitic disease that's been affecting millions around the world, filariasis. Get ready to learn everything you need to know about this lesser known but impactful condition. What is filariasis? Filariasis is a parasitic disease caused by thread-like worms called filarial worms, transmitted to humans through the bites of infected mosquitoes. The disease primarily affects the lymphatic system, leading to symptoms like lymphedema and, in severe cases, elephantiasis, where limbs or other body parts become significantly swollen and thickened. Geographical Distribution of Filarial Worm Filarial worms are primarily found in tropical and subtropical regions, where the climate supports the mosquito species that transmit the parasites. The disease is prevalent in parts of Africa, Asia, the Pacific Islands, Central and South America, and the Caribbean. Areas with poor sanitation and limited access to healthcare are particularly affected, making filariasis a significant public health concern in these regions. Habitat of Filarial Worm Filarial worms inhabit the lymphatic system of their human hosts, where they mature and reproduce. The lymphatic system, which includes lymph nodes and vessels, is crucial for maintaining the body's fluid balance and immune function. Once inside the human body, filarial worms can live for several years, causing damage to the lymphatic tissues and leading to various symptoms of filariasis. In their larval stage, these worms circulate in the bloodstream, where they can be picked up by mosquitoes during a bite, continuing the transmission cycle. Morphology of filarial worm, Wachereria bancrofti. Wachereria bancrofti is a thread-like parasitic worm with a slender, elongated body. The adult males are about 2.5 to 4 cm long, while females are larger, measuring around 8 to 10 cm in length. The worms have a smooth, striated cuticle and a simple digestive system. Females release larvae called microfilarii, which are about 200,300 micrometers long and circulate in the blood. These microfilarii are sheathed, meaning they have a delicate covering that helps them survive in the bloodstream until they are taken up by a mosquito vector during a blood meal. Life cycle of filarial worm, Wachereria bancrofti. 1. Mosquito transmission. When an infected mosquito bites a human, it injects Wachereria bancrofti larva, called microfilarii, into the bloodstream. 2. Migration and maturation. These microfilarii migrate to the lymphatic system, where they mature into adult worms over several months. The adult worms can live for 5-7 years in the lymphatic vessels. 3. Reproduction. Female worms produce millions of microfilarii, which circulate in the bloodstream, particularly at night, when mosquitoes are most active. 4. Mosquito uptake. When a mosquito bites an infected human, it ingests the microfilarii. Inside the mosquito, the microfilarii develop into infectious larvae over 10-14 days. 5. Cycle repeats. The mature larvae then migrate to the mosquito's mouthparts, ready to be transmitted to another human host when the mosquito bites again, continuing the cycle. How filarial worm, Wachereria bancrofti causes disease, pathogenicity in human beings. Wachereria bancrofti causes disease in humans by disrupting the lymphatic system, which is vital for maintaining fluid balance and immune function. When the larvae mature into adult worms in the lymphatic vessels, they cause inflammation and blockage, leading to the accumulation of lymph fluid. This blockage results in lymphedema, characterized by swelling, particularly in the limbs. Over time, this can progress to severe disfigurement known as elephantiasis, where the skin thickens and hardens. The presence of adult worms and their offspring, microfilaria, also triggers an immune response, further contributing to tissue damage and chronic symptoms. What are the symptoms caused by filarial worm infection? Wachereria bancrofti infection can cause a range of symptoms, depending on the stage of the disease. 1. Asymptomatic stage. Many individuals may remain asymptomatic for years, even while the worms are damaging the lymphatic system. 2. Acute symptoms. Some may experience episodes of fever, inflammation, and painful swelling of the lymph nodes, known as lymphangitis. 3. Chronic symptoms. Long-term infection can lead to lymphedema, where fluid accumulation causes swelling in the limbs, breasts, or genitals. This can progress to elephantiasis, a condition where the skin becomes thickened and severely swollen, leading to significant disability. 4. Other symptoms. Hydrocele, a swelling of the scrotum, is another common symptom in men, and chyluria, milky urine, can occur when lymph fluid leaks into the urinary system. Laboratory Diagnosis of Filarial Infection 1. Microscopic examination. 
The most common method is detecting microfilariae in the blood through a thick blood smear, typically taken at night when the microfilariae are most active in the bloodstream. 2. Antigen Detection Rapid diagnostic tests RDTs, that detect specific antigens of Wachereria bancrofti in the blood can be used, and these tests do not require a nighttime sample. 3. Polymerase Chain Reaction PCR, PCR can be used to detect the DNA of the parasite, offering high sensitivity and specificity. 4. Ultrasound. In some cases, ultrasound may be used to visualize adult worms in the lymphatic system, particularly in the scrotal area in men. What is treatment for filarial infection? Treatment of filarial infection caused by Wachereria bancrofti primarily involves antiparasitic medications. 1. Diethylcarbamazine, DEC. DEC is the main drug used to kill both microfilariae and some adult worms. It's often given in a single dose or over a course of several days. 2. Ivermectin. This drug is particularly effective against microfilariae and is commonly used in combination with DEC or albendazole in mass drug administration programs. 3. Albendazole. Often used in combination with DEC or ivermectin, albendazole helps to reduce the worm burden by targeting the adult worms. 4. Symptomatic treatment. For chronic conditions like lymphedema or elephantiasis, management includes proper hygiene, elevation of affected limbs, and in some cases, surgery. How to prevent filarial infection? 1. Mosquito control. Reduce mosquito populations through environmental management, use of insecticides, and elimination of standing water where mosquitoes breed. 2. Personal protection. Use insect repellent, wear long sleeves and pants, and sleep under insecticide-treated bed nets, especially in endemic areas. 3. Mass drug administration. Participate in community-wide drug distribution programs that provide antiparasitic medications like DEC or ivermectin to reduce the prevalence of the disease and interrupt transmission. 4. Health education. Educate communities about the importance of these preventive measures and promote proper hygiene and sanitation practices. Conclusion. Filariasis is a preventable and treatable disease, but it continues to affect millions, especially in tropical and subtropical regions. Raising awareness and supporting control programs are key to making a difference. If you found this video informative, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to Tiny Predators for more content on infectious diseases. Let's spread knowledge, not infections.